Good morning, guys. I have a friend who needs some help. This is him. He doesn't have his heart or his brain or his stomach or anything. And he needs our help to put him back together. So we are going to start learning about the human body. And we know what we see on the outside, our skin and our eyes and our hair. But what about what's on the inside? What do you know about the body? How do we breathe? How do we move? How do we pick things up and jump and laugh? Well, we are going to find out. So this is my friend here, and he's going to help us learn about the inside of our body. So what do we see right now? We see a skeleton, but this is what we look like inside. These are our bones. And so we have our skull, and we have our hip bones, and our kneecaps, and our ribs that are kind of like a cage to protect our heart. Let's see what's underneath or on top of our bones. <gasps> Check it out. There's our lungs and our heart and all of our arteries. That's how our blood moves throughout our body. What's on, what's on top of that? Ooh, this is the digestive system and the brain and the nerves. You see that is our small intestine and our large intestine. Ooh, there's so much to learn. We're gonna dive deeper, but I'm just gonna show you what is on top of that. What are these? Yeah, they're muscles. They help us move. Muscles are like rubber bands. They're attached to our bones and they help us move. We have hundreds of muscles. So first we're gonna talk about bones because if we didn't have bones, we would be mush. Our muscles would have nothing to hold on to. We would just be a big pile of jelly. So we have to learn the importance of bones and how to take care of our bones. We have 206 bones. And did you know that babies have more bones than adults? Because as they grow, the bones form together and they make fewer, larger bones. This is a skull, and I know what you might be thinking, that it might look like Halloween, but this is actually what it looks like underneath our muscles and everything that we see. And the skull is like a helmet to protect our brain because the brain is the computer inside our mind that helps us do everything. It tells us when to move and blink and chew and breathe. Now these are the ribs. And like I said earlier, the ribs protect your heart and your lungs. Did you know that you have 27 bones in each hand that help you pick up and hold things? This is the spine and it's made up of lots of little bones called the vertebrae to keep us standing up straight. And your thigh bone right here that's the longest bone in your body. And coming down to our little feet, your foot has 26 bones that help you walk, hop, and jump. One less than your hand. Here's what our skeleton is. Squish, lying on the ground like a jellyfish. It's the bones in your body. They help you dance at the party. Your hip bone attaches to your thigh bone and shin bone. Your rib cage sprouts from your spine. When your vertebrae wiggles around and around, well, your skull bone will have a good time. How many bones are shown in the x-ray pics? Kids have 300, adults 206. Lots of bones in your body. Big and small in your body. And as you groove, they move and bend at the joints where your ligaments flex like a spring. Some joints twirl like a merry-go-round. Others go back and forth like a swing. Whee! When you put all your bones together as one, it's what we call your skeleton. All the bones in your body. And the joints in your body help you dance at the party. Raise your bones up in the air. These are x rays. An x ray shows a doctor if there's any damage in the bones, if they're broken. And this is a rib cage, but you can tell someone swallowed a coin. Almost all living things have bones. This is an x-ray of a bunny rabbit. 
Let's talk about muscles. You have more than 600 muscles in your body, from your neck muscles that turn your head to your toe muscles that help you walk. Every time you smile, you use about 17 muscles. Every time you frown, you use about 42. So you should smile more. It's easier. Roll up your tongue. Can you raise just one eyebrow? The muscles in your thumbs help you hold things. Try to button a shirt without your thumbs. Pause this and learn about muscle memory with your mom or your dad or brother and sister. Did you know that your heart is a muscle? It's about the size of a fist. It pumps your blood all around your body through blood vessels called arteries and veins. The heart actually doesn't look like the shape that we're used to seeing. It looks more like this. The easiest place to feel your heartbeat is on the side of your neck under your chin. If you can't find it, try jumping around first. You can also feel your heartbeat or your pulse by pressing right where the fingers are on the wrist. Your pulse can be felt there because the blood vessels are close to the skin. I figured out that my heart beat my pulse beat about 10 times during 10 seconds. So the way I did that is I put my two fingers, my peace fingers, right here at the edge of my neck until I felt a beat. And then I set my timer for 10 seconds. And while the timer goes, I count how many beats that I feel. So I know that when I was sitting down, it was 10, sec 10 beats per second. Now I'm going to jump up and down and see what happens to my pulse. Okay, I've been jumping for a while. I'm gonna set my timer and see how many beats I feel. My heartbeat went up seven pulses after jumping around. So what happened to my pulse? I want you to try it and see what happens to yours. You can listen to a friend's heart by putting your ear to the middle of their chest, or you can make your own stethoscope. A stethoscope is the way the doctor checks your lungs and your heart to see if they're working properly. Starts at your heart, where your blood does flow through your arteries to your body parts. It goes then back from your veins, from your hands to your toes, from your feet and your ears, from your eyes to your nose. From your liver, kidney, lungs, it's never really done. Flowing like a river to the beat of a drum. Your heart's a big part of your circulatory system. It beats, it beats night and day. So we've learned about the heart. So we gave our little friend a heart. Now let's give him a brain next. The brain kind of looks like cauliflower. It's about three pounds in the size of your two fists. It controls your thoughts and movement and your memory. The nerves act like a telephone, letting your brain know what's happening to you. Did you know that your nerves send messages to your brain that go faster than a speeding race car? Your brain can generate enough electricity to power a light bulb. That's crazy. And the size of your brain has nothing to do how, with how smart you are. A genius doesn't have an extra large brain. Check out all of the different sizes of brains from animals to humans. That you have ever seen Protected by your cranium It hides between your ears The stem, the cerebellum And cerebral hemispheres Your brain, brain, brain Is sending and receiving Your brain, brain, brain The information that you're needing Your brain, brain, brain It has a lot to do It's a crazy multitasker That works overtime for you 
part of the nervous system that makes your body move. Contains all of your memories, it helps you think things through. Controls all of your senses, but it's still a mystery. Cause scientists keep finding out new discoveries. Your brain, 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 it only weighs three pounds. Your brain, 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 the smartest thing around. Your brain, 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 a miraculous machine. The most supercharged computer the world has ever seen. Pause these next couple pictures and play some games with your brain. There's a forgetting game, a seeing things game, and a teaching your brain game. Now we can give our friend a brain. And did you know that scientists say that exercise makes you smarter? So don't forget to get your body moving like our song. <laughs>